Today on Riff Spears and Gear, we check out the Vintage 11 large diaphragm condenser microphone from Jay-Z Microphones. In the world of condenser microphones, you have two different schools of microphones. You have the old school, and then you got the new school. The companies that are trying to do something new or utilize technology in a cool and usable way. Jay-Z Microphones is definitely in the latter category. They have an awesome capsule design and they make some really awesome looking microphones that actually, now that I'm looking at it, kind of make me think of a flask. Merch idea, flask. Now, before we go any further, this video is sponsored by Jay-Z Microphones. However, all thoughts and opinions are mine. So me having the Vintage 11 microphone is a little bit of a unique scenario compared to the other stuff I typically do videos on as I have actually had and been using this quite a bit for like the last year and a half, unbelievably. Jay-Z Microphones originally sent me this microphone just to check out and I've just been using it. And fast forward over a year later, they went, hey, um, do you wanna make a video with that? And I was like, you know what? Yes, yes I do. I love, love, love this microphone. It's very versatile. It's very flat sounding. It just, it just sounds great on literally everything. So the Vintage 11 is designed to be a well-balanced, super rich sound with warm but transparent overtones. Um, think of this as just very kind of sweet analog-y sounding. That's a technical term. That's how I would describe it. Now the Vintage 11 uses Class A electronics. These are hand built and you know what? I love the design. You can get nice and close uh, on something like a guitar cabinet with the included shock mount, which mounts like so. So you don't have this huge basket and you don't have to be a ways away, which normally I wouldn't care about. But if I'm using a multiple microphone system, for example, on a guitar cab, I now have to put that SM57 way back in order to phase it correctly. So I like being able to get right on the grill if I want to, and this mount lets you do just that. Now the capsule in the Vintage 11 is uh, Jay-Z Microphones' own large diaphragm true electrostatic golden drop capsule, which is nice, clear, it's, it's the good good, if I may. So right now, we're gonna do a couple of sound tests with the Vintage 11 microphone. The first test I wanna do is on a Mesa Boogie Vertical 212 with Vintage 30s. This will be the only microphone I have on the cabinet. And I'm going to plug into my FJA modified rectifier and let you hear what this sounds like with a clean crunch and lead tone using the dual rectifier. And just to give you a sense of what this thing is sounding like. And I will also use my PRS Custom 22. So let's hear how this sounds on guitar. Next, let's go ahead and check out the V11 on an acoustic guitar. I will be using a Taylor uh, GT parlor guitar. It's a smaller body. It's a little bit more direct sounding and there's a little bit lower mids and it's not super low end heavy. However, this captures it very, very accurately. I will be adding a tiny bit of reverb in post, but other than that, there is no processing on the microphone signal itself. So what you're hearing is just what's coming straight out of the microphone.
And lastly, let's check this out on my voice. I will be hand holding the microphone. There will be no boom. So you can hear the amount of rejection that this housing offers on this microphone if you were to hand hold it. I wouldn't necessarily recommend that for most situations. However, if you do want to hand hold it, you can do just that. Pretty cool. This is a voice test with the Jay-Z Microphones Vintage 11. I am about seven, eight inches away from my mouse, slightly off axis. This is me right up on the capsule. I will now rotate the capsule and give you the off axis sound as it were while hand holding it. Obviously this is not on a boom. Um, all the way back around plosive test. Please bring pizza pronto. Please bring pizza pronto. Check, check, one, two, check, check. Uh, I find I like this microphone not directly um, in front of my mouth, but just off to the side like this gives a very nice, pleasant tone. Uh, if you want to mellow it out, you back it off a little bit. If you want to get a little bit more intense, you come, uh, you get a little closer. Like your, your cheek is talking to it, as it were. Jay-Z Microphones Vintage 11 handheld voice test. So what are my final thoughts? This is about a $900 microphone, and for me here in my recording situation, uh, over the last year, year and a half, this has been my do-it-all microphone. This is great on guitar cabs. This is great for voiceover work. This is great for acoustic instruments. This is really a utilitarian Swiss Army knife of a microphone. I have really, really enjoyed it. And honestly, for $900, it sounds, it, it sounds like it's, you know, four times that price when you get it into your DAW and listen back to what you just got. So keep that in mind when looking for any large diaphragm condenser microphone. And uh, yeah, very, very cool microphone. I will link down below in the description if you would like more information. And with that, you've been wonderful, I've been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. If you liked the video you just watched, please consider subscribing. And if you wanna further support me and what I do, consider using some of the affiliate links down below in the description of this video. Go on over to Sweetwater, buy yourself something, and help me out at the same time. It's a win-win for both of us.